Hello, folks. Thank you for tuning in, whether it's Facebook Live or if you're watching us on the Internet. We appreciate you tuning in. I'm John Najarian from Investitute, and I'm here at Traders Expo, New York City, uh, at the Hilton Hotel. This is a fabulous event, one of the biggest Traders Expos I've seen in many years, and one of the biggest traders <laughs> of Forex on the earth is sitting right next to me, Boris Schlossberg from uh, BK Forex. Yes, Boris, BK thank you. Good to be with you. BKForex.com. So yes, BKForex.com. So much fun to be here. It's great to be in New York as always. You trade the biggest market on earth. I we mean, do. currencies yes. dwarf equities. Right. And yet, for let's say most of the last five to seven years, right. Forex hasn't been very big at these shows, but it's making a big comeback. Yes. Obviously, people were still trading um, ruples, uh, renminbi, right. dollars, euros, sure. all that Everything. stuff all along. Right. But now more. Uh, traders and day traders are coming back. Why is that? Well, I think volatility is coming back. Forex is very driven by interest rates. And remember, for the last eight years, we've literally had no interest rates. The whole world has been on ZERP, on zero interest rate policy. Mm -hmm. Now the Fed is finally starting to raise rates. That creates more volatility, more interesting possible trades. And that is what's bringing, I think, the uh, retail trader back to the market because they're starting to see more price action, more geopolitical risks, all the good things that actually make trading so much <laughs> worthwhile. And as you said, the market still continued to grow in that meantime. So now the market is even bigger than it was five or ten years ago. And hopefully with more volatility, it'll be a really great tradable market coming up. Yeah. Uh, from your lips to God's yes, ears. exactly. And uh, one of the issues is that uh, they changed the leverage yes. or gearing, I right. guess they like to call it right. in Europe. Right. They changed the leverage right. uh, in the United States and in Europe. Right. So maybe if you could give some of the uh, viewers a quick the, synopsis The of conventional that. view of most traders was that, oh, this is horrible, leverage has gone down, I'm really not going to be able to make trade money. But if you think about this, it's actually a very, very good thing because across the world, all the regulators are actually unifying and standardizing on pretty much like a 25 to 1 to a 50 to 1 leverage standard. And that is more than enough to really trade well. Yeah. You don't want to trade too hard because it's like, dry, as I would say, it's like driving a Ferrari 100 miles an hour down 6th Avenue here in New York City. You can't do it for more than a block without getting into trouble. So really containing leverage in the long run is going to be much more beneficial. And more importantly, the regulation across the world is standardizing, so it's mu becoming a much more professional market for all retail traders. And I think that's a huge positive. Are big things like uh, Venezuela yeah. and Brazil, when it went from negative to uh, negative uh, outlook, negative that is, negative, right? to, well, maybe more positive yeah. now. Uh, Bolsonaro, isn't he pretty popular in helping that both the country and the currency? He is. We'll have to see. You know, the real is, is generally a very tough currency to trade because it's under a lot of control from, from the bank. And we have to see if his reforms take hold. Um, so, yes, you know, there's always opportunities, but the opportunities really for most retail traders are in the majors. That's where a lot of action is happening. There's lots of new stuff happening in Europe. The Fed, as I said, is really moving rates around. And even Australia, New Zealand, uh, Canada, all of them are being impacted by China. So there's just lots and lots of stuff just even in the homeland with much more safer, secure currencies to trade. And last question, if I could, sure. about uh, Forex options. Yeah. Um, are we seeing a pickup in option volumes and volatilities as well that corresponds with the move in the currencies? I think we are seeing a little bit of vol definitely pick up on vol in Forex options. I think Forex options are a very embryonic market for the retail trader. It's a very, very active market for the institutional trader. I still think it's going to take a couple of years for brokers to make that market accessible for the retail trader in a, in a way that's going to be conducive. But for now, just the spot market itself should be a great place for traders to come and trade. Beautiful. Folks uh, from BKForex.com, <laughs> uh, Boris Schlossberg. Boris, thank you for joining you me. I'm here. John Najarian. We're here at the Traders Expo in New York City. Yeah.